The Tobacco Retailers Alliance is made up of 25,000 independent retailers. We gained 10,000 retailers when the display ban was announced. So there's now 25,000 of us out there all seriously concerned about our businesses. My personal opinion on the new legislation is ridiculous. Children don't smoke because they walk into a shop and see it behind the counter. You know, there are lots of other reasons that children smoke and they're the ones that need to be addressed. You won't stop people from smoking by removing displays. Um, I think you'll displace sales. I think it will be a huge increase in people buying smuggled and counterfeit tobacco. At the moment, you can see my display of cigarettes and anyone can come in and check that I'm not selling anything I shouldn't. You start hiding it under the counter, you're going to put the whole trade under the counter. And traditionally, if it's under the counter, it's not the real thing, is it? It probably cost us between three and four thousand pounds to refit the shop and right now I can't afford that. We're in a recession. The government is supposed to be helping small businesses, not making it harder for them. This consultation was poorly organised. 75% of retailers are Asian and unfortunately they could not understand the consultation. It should have been written in different languages for them to understand it. The biggest problem with tobacco at present moment in time is the proxy purchasing. Take an example from my shop. I have got three ladies who come in every morning to buy 10 cigarettes for the girls who are only 13 year old. Proxy purchasing should be criminalized. Tobacco is 30% of my business. It's a legal product and it should be sold as seen, not from underneath the counter. Cigarettes are important to my business. It helps customers buying other things in my shop. The uh, ban will take away my trade. It would take away my customers to the large supermarkets, which are already increasing their profit, while the uh, small retailers are losing their profit. I won't be able to survive, which means at the end of the day, I'll be handing my keys over to the banks. I don't think it's going to affect underage smoking. I'm very vigilant and where I feel that I need to see an ID, I do stress to see an ID. It's my business, I'd like the freedom to run my business as I want it to be run. We work hard for what we've got and we wouldn't like to lose it. It's a security risk for retailers. Looking for a cigarette, we could easily be hit by somebody who deliberately asked us to go down for a cigarette but he didn't want cigarettes. Now, I believe the government has got a target to cut the regulation around businesses. If they want to achieve that target, they do not need to bring regulation which will not make any difference to what they want to achieve. My customers who i seen, you know, growing up in the shop, none of them have actually said they start smoking because of the shop display. All they said is that they've been smoking because in schools or their parents or their family been smoking. So therefore, I think the government should seriously consider an alternative. Alternative would be, rather than banning tobacco display, they should spend money not on legislation but on education.